hello everyone i welcome all you in this channel today in this video we are going to explain the poem london which was composed by the famous rom pre romantic poet william blake london is one of the finest poem of william blake it was published in the pub in the collection of poems which called songs of experience in 1794 This poem has affinity with Bowes' famous poem Whenever I take my walks abroad how many poor I see It seems that both the poets were influenced by the ideology of Rousseau like Rousseau they believe that modern civilization has made the life of the common man hard painful and miserable In this poem individual liberty has been curtailed Black in his poem London exposes the evils of the city life of London he shows the ugly faces of the modern civilization chimney sweeper soldiers prostitutes are the characters through which he fires at the urban civilization black is a humanist and so he attacks the society which is based on the exploitation of poor and downtrodden people the poem now we will discuss about the setting of the poem and also discussed discussed what are the famous literary terms was used by the poet so this poem has four stanzas each stanza has four lines the first line the first line rhymes with the third and the second line rhymes with the fourth the rhyme scheme is a b a b about this poem professor jaswin jain comments this poem is a description of urban space unhappiness unhappiness and poverty of the city later black changed the word charter to dirty in the first two lines the poem portrays childhood adolescence and youth so we can say that the poet attacks on the civilization of london people in spite of all comforts and luxuries in their lives the people of london are not happy at heart their pain and sufferings have stricken their faces pale the poor section of the society is being cursed in the civilization the society in london is corrupt and the society itself is responsible for it so now we will this we will explain one by one line of the poem so come on the poem and let's start now i wander through each chartered street near where the chartered thames does flow and marks in every face i meet marks of weakness marks of foe in every cry in every cry of every man in every infant cry of fear in every voice in every ban the mind forced manacles i hear so in the first stanza of the poems i wander through each chartered street near where the chartered things does flow and marks in every face i meet a marks of weakness and marks of woe whenever in the in the first stanza the poet says that whenever he visits in the street of london he says these street are near the river of thames and marks in whenever he sees the people of london and he see that there were marks of woe and pain in the face of the people in every cry of every man in every infant's cry of fear in every voice in every bend the mind forth manacles i hear whenever he finds the people in a miserable condition he sees their pale and withered faces guys in this second stanza the poet says that when he finds the people in the miserable condition he sees their pale and withered faces there are signs of sorrow on every face their features betray their sufferings and painful condition in every voice in every vein the mind forced manacles i hear in these lines the poet says that 
ईच स्ट्रीट इन लंडन इज चार्टर क्लियरली डिफाइंड एंड लाइक द चार्टर्ड थीम्स लिमिटेड एंड कन्फाइंड बाई इट्स डेफिनेशन एवरी फेस इन लंडन इज चार्टर्ड मार्क्ड बाई द सेम लेक ऑफ स्कोप एंड द सेम मिजरी एंड वो बिकॉज ऑफ इट ब्लैक से दैट दिस चार्टर्ड इक्वालिटी इज नोट ड्यू टू सोशल कंडीशन बट बिकॉज ऑफ सोशल इंजस्टिक्स एंड पॉइंट से दैट एवरी वेयर द पॉइंट्स हीयर्स क्राइज ऑफ पेन एंड सफरिंग्स ऑन एनालाइसिंग द कोज ऑफ ऑल दीज सफरिंग्स एंड पेन्स ही फाइंड दैट इट इज ऑल ड्यू टू सोसाइटी सो वेन एवर द पॉलिटिक्स इज दिस टाइप ऑफ कंडीशन ऑफ पीपल तो ही एनालाइज दैट दिस इज कंडीशन इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस कंडीशन दैट टाइम सोसाइटी इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इट एंड इट इज ऑल ड्यू टू सोसाइटी ब्लैक फाइंड दैट द सप्रिंग्स आर कोस्ड बाय द रिप्रेशन ही वॉज कन्विंस्ड दैट रिप्रेशन इन ऑल इट्स फॉर्म्स वॉज मैन मेड and that is can from men's mind and the third stanza of the poem is how the chimney sweepers cry every black man charge apart and the helpless soldier sign run in blood down pale walls but most through midnight streets i hear how the youthful harlots curse blast the new born infants tear and blights with flakes the marriage we heart वन यूर पॉइंट वॉक्स इन दिटी ऑफ लंडन एंड सी इज वेरी पर्सन बिलोंग बिलोंगिंग टू डिफरेंट ऑक्यूपेशंस ही सीज चिमनी शिपर्स सोल्जर्स एंड द प्रोस्टिट्यूट्स ऑफ द सिटी ही फाइंड दैम ऑल इन ए मिजरेबल कंडीशन दे आर विक्टिम्स ऑफ द सिस्टम बेस्ड नॉट ऑन ए ब्रदरहुड बट ऑन फियर ही आल्सो he also sees the blackening church and imagines that the churches are turning pale with the shame of pity the word appals here the poet used the word appals is very suggestive the poet here the sign of the unlucky soldier who has lost all hopes of his life he has been punished by the court how the chimney sweepers cry every blackening church and the helpless soldier sigh runs in blood down pale walls then the poet say that the soldiers are unlucky of in at that place because of they are punished by the court but most through midnight last stanza of poem but most through midnight streets i hear how the youthful harlots cry blasts the new born infants tear and blights with flakes the marriage harsh and last stanza of the poem the poet walks in the streets of london at midnight he hears the call of prostitutes here the poet describe the here the poet describe the picture of the prostitutes of that times he say that when the poet walks in the streets of london london at midnight he hears the call of prostitutes they have not adopted this profession willingly it is forced on them by the marriage laws of the british society the prostitutes give birth to a child who will be a burden on society it being a illegitimate child will have no future in the world the prostitutes curse all down the plague on conjugal love because the husband has contracted venerable disease by his contact with the prostitute a loveless marriage is no better than a dead body to so here the poet want to say that uh, social laws are responsible for the degrading the generation of individuals and evils of society because they are based on social injustice so we can say that here the poet attacks the society of london according to him 
ది సొసైటీ ఆఫ్ లండన్ ఈజ్ వెరీ ఫ్రస్ట్రేట్ హై ప్రొగ్రెసివ్ పావర్టీ అని మిస్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ది సివాలజిజం థ్యాంక్ సో మచ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ టు గివ్ యువర్ వెల్యూబుల్ టైమ్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ ది వీడియో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్